What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be going over how to set up crossplay for your Apex Terraria server. Before we get into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on every tutorial we upload, just like this one. Considering all the places you can play Terraria, and maybe the places that you've already played Terraria on, you may notice that you have been growing bored of not being able to play with your friends on any platform. By default, Terraria servers cannot be compatible with PC and mobile players at once, which can be pretty discouraging if you have friends on either platforms, and it makes for awkward family gatherings where you've already decided which family members you're siding with. Luckily, T-Shock, a mod loader for Terraria, allows the use of a crossplay plugin to host both players on a server at once, making you the hero once again at your family dinner. Enabling crossplay on a Terraria server can be disorienting if you're unfamiliar with the instructions, so we made this tutorial on how to do that, and we're going to show you through every step of the way. Before we make any changes on our server, go ahead and hop in your server panel and make sure to click on stop until your server is fully offline so that you stop your server. Now scroll down to the jar file selection and click on the version dropdown and make sure that you locate the Terraria T-Shock version and select it. It'll prompt you to change your version and then when you're prompted, make sure to create a new world we recommend that you do this to avoid as many errors as possible. And once you're done, go ahead and restart your server to get that T-Shock mod loader running for your Terraria server. To enable crossplay when you start off on the Crossplay GitHub webpage. Once you're here, which of course this is going to be linked in the description of this video, from this web page, you can go ahead and just download the crossplay.dll file and make sure that you're downloading the latest one, of course. And once it's downloaded, you can just move it to a folder where you can easily locate it later on. Once you've got that file downloaded and your server is fully offline, you can go ahead and enter the FTP file access tab on the left hand side of your FTP panel. Log in with your information and then look for the server plugins folder. Then go ahead and upload in the top left and drag and drop the crossplay download to the right hand side of the page to upload. Once it's fully uploaded 100%, one out of one files, you can return to your main panel page by clicking on the name of your server at the top and just clicking the restart. Once your server is fully online, you should be able to connect to your Terraria server on both PC and mobile versions of the game. If your server isn't set to T-Shock, before you move on with any of these steps, you're gonna get an error about your server crossplay not working, plugins not being installed, whatever. Just make sure that you have T-Shock installed before you continue on with your server plugin installations. Crossplay makes everything better. Gaming conventions, YouTube conventions, live streams, YouTube live streams, all of it, the whole shebang. Crossplay makes every game better and it makes the gaming experience for hosters more fun, but it also makes the experience for players the best. And that's why here at Apex, we're showing you how you can do it for yourself. Well, folks, that's all we've got for you today. And as always, we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.